Lobby Bar Margaritas. Lobby Bar Margaritas. This was packed with the rich people back in 88, 89, 90. Just the lobby reception while you're waiting. Have a drink, sir, ma'am. Please have a seat. Unfortunately, this is what's left over for now. All right, so just we just passed reception and we're gonna walk the, the pad down to the rest of the hotel or should I say property. Once again, the view is just majestic. The most expensive view in the whole entire town of Susua. It's right here. And unfortunately, this is what's left over. There we go again. And we are. Wow. Nick, what do you think? Such a majestic place left to. It's crazy. Billions of dollars invested. And then that's what we got left over. Well, we got our son who does not like to walk this path. He's scared to death. Hey, there we go. This is Puerto Plata all-inclusive restaurant La Cava. Piscina, pool, obviously swimming pool, cafeteria, Villa Linda restaurant. I wouldn't be going downstairs because that pool is dirty and mosquitoes everywhere. Well, besides mosquitoes, you might find some UFO down there. Or Martians, should I say. I heard about this hotel even when I was uh, Growing up in Yugoslavia back in the 80s, country no longer exists. And those are the rooms, private rooms. So you will have your own suite here with a view of Susua Beach. Oh my God, what they have done here. Jesus. So this is Playa Chiquita actually right here, huh, mom? No, La Boca. Boca? La Boca. Okay, Playa Boca, I guess. Playa Susua is right behind, which is the one still operating and it's beautiful. Hey, there's a party time here. Well, you guys wanna see the view? There it is. So Playa Susua will be the one when you see those, the white building and all these boats. That's where we're staying. And this was met for the riches to come and visit and enjoy their vacation in Dominican Republic. The fact, first all-inclusive hotel in Caribbean actually, not Dominican Republic. I'm trying to read some facts. There's the music going on. Yeah, man. Yes, sir. Hey, people are coming, sailing around here to see this beauty. Unfortunately, ruins. Wow. All right, let's see what we can find. Rooms and more rooms. Man, I'm from Vegas and this thing looks like something that was built in Las Vegas in the middle of the Caribbean. It's unbelievable. It's a huge monster left to die like this. Unbelievable. Is that not a pool? Huh? Wow. Oh, there's a happy birthday, somebody. Let's make sure we don't get in those holes. Happy birthday. Uh oh, that pool, that smell, we're out of here. Yeah, it smells so bad that you can't even 
get closer to the pool so we're gonna kind of just pass in that one and walk around it and go to see other side but you can tell the suites are beautiful you get your room you get vacation time you get the view best food best people and then unfortunately something didn't work well and the whole thing just collapsed. So imagine you wake up in the morning, drink a cup of coffee and this is your view. Uh, all right, let's go see a few more things. Chuchi, can I have your phone just for a second? Open pictures. More fact about the Sand Castle Hotel. And of course the ruins are located in Porto Chiquito sector, which we're visiting right now. It's municipal municipality of Susua. That's where my wife is from. And like I mentioned earlier, it was inaugurated in 1988 with a tremendous international artistic show where Latoya Jackson, obviously we all know who Latoya is, sister of Michael, she performed here. This majestic, majestic resort now abandoned was built on the cliff of the shores of the Atlantic Ocean facing the beautiful Bay of Susua. We did have a chance to see that and show you. And it was a great attraction in the golden age of tourism here in Puerto Plata. And first resort, once again, got to mention that first resort that was all inclusive, that it's very popular now, 30 years later, or 40 this was the place a lot of big actors from hollywood were here and this is what we got left well looks like we got the plenty of time that we spent here and i don't blame them the, the, the smell is just killing unfortunately that's so sad so sad the smell terrific so try to figure out why this collapse of course everybody would like to know and that was me so did a little uh, investigation with locals and you saw those people in the beginning of the video and unfortunately for some reason the little river that is behind a complex uh, was one of the reasons why the whole complex shut it down I guess the river was not the cleanest that you can say and locals were dumping some stuff that they're not supposed to and a lot of tourists were going home sick and they started doing you know filing charges on guests to the place because it was not sanitary due to the river being poisoned um, what I'm Reading, it says, unfortunately, the project was losing its splendor due to the pollution that came down from the Susua River, which at the same time polluted La Boca Beach, in addition to the crime that came from the neighborhood and that directly affected tourists when they enjoyed the beach. So there we go. Couple things that we learned. One, pollution, river. Two, crime. You know, crime will destroy the most expensive hotels in the world uh, if they are not safe people are not gonna go and visit they're gonna let it go they're gonna pass by well short story about the San Castle Hotel in Susua talk, talk to you later have a great day bye exiting majestic place what a sad story such a beautiful location, such, such a beautiful structure. Somebody came up with a brilliant idea, all-inclusive. Brought everybody that 
wanted to enjoy their vacation in one of the most exotic countries in the Caribbean, which is Dominican Republic. We all love this country, it's beautiful. Come here to visit a lot, but there you go. You got a little uh, problem with the water or crime, which back in the 80s, I guess, what I'm hearing just under all these uh, beautiful, or should I say on the side of those beaches, the neighborhood was not that great and they were dealing stuff that they're not supposed to. So, of course, tourists didn't like it and I wouldn't like it. Nobody likes that. This was a secure entrance, as you can tell. We're going to drive home and you can go straight down the beach from here. You can walk or drive. Well, bye for now.